are you bored of writing test cases manually for your projects where you are working if the answer is yes no need to worry any more guys because in this session i am going to share one great tip using which you can auto generate the test cases in no matter of time okay this technique if you follow you don't have to write the test cases manually anymore for your projects you don't have to get bored anymore what is the technique that i am going to showcase in this session you need to use the combination of test case studio which is a tool and the other one is generative ai combination like chat gpt or google gemini or whatever it is okay you need to use this both combination to auto generate the test cases in a faster way where you can avoid writing the test cases in a manual way for your projects and thereafter you can escape the boredom so let's begin how to do this or how to apply this technique to auto generate the test cases where you will not only escape the boredom but also you will save lot of time that you spend in writing the test cases fine without compromising the quality of the test cases you can do this with this technique so for that i'll open the browser guys let's say chrome browser etc here in the browser i'll take you to one website known as selectorshub.com once you go to this website you will see lot of tools here in this one of the tool you have to pick okay that is test case studio this is the tool you need to pick click on install button the moment you click on that you will be taken to this page where you can see this button add to chrome it's free click on that button then you will be taken to this google chrome web store where you can see add to chrome button again beside this test case studio click on add to chrome you will get this confirmation click on add extension in a while the test case studio will get installed as an extension in your browser once it gets installed you will get this confirmation test case studio is added or something and you will be taken to this kind of pages you can close that click on this manage extensions and here there is a pin option click on the pin option so that you can access the this is a test case studio guys this is the icon of the test case studio okay close all this stuff okay just close all this stuff be in the new tab so when you are in this place just click on this test case studio icon here okay and this kind of dialog will come expand this maximize this guys and you see this icon is blinking as you can clearly see it's by default this test case studio will be in recording mode okay by default the test case studio will be recording mode if you want to pass the recording you have to click on this icon so currently you see no steps are there no steps are written as part of the test cases i'll just minimize this and here in the browser i'll go back to the browser and type the application page url once i go to the home page here on this i would like to click on my account you see some red color uh, highlighting came just click on this login once you are taken to this login page i'll click inside the email address field and type this email address i'll click inside the password field and type the password then i am going to click on the login button once i got logged in i want to verify whether i have successfully logged in or not okay how to verify that i'll i'll uh, you know uh right click on this logout option and select view or otherwise i'll do one thing i'll just click on this my account right click on the logout option here and uh, here i'll say verify present okay like this i'll say now go back to the test case studio tool and stop the recording here that's it whatever the activities have done all got documented here i didn't type all this uh, test case steps here okay but this steps doesn't look that great for me okay they are very simple but don't worry i'm going to give you the way or process you see by default uh, you see before going to the next step where i'm going to use the help going to take the help of the generative ai tools like chat gpt or so first let's talk about this test case studio test case studio will auto generate the test case steps at a high level for you and also the data that you have used will be there and expected result will not be there any no expected result will be there but if you want to get some expected result you can you know uh, click on my account and what is expected result you have to type here okay user should be navigated to like that you can type here that's okay then you can also get the xpath expressions and cs selectors and these xpath expressions and cs selectors you can use in your automation scripts okay so it will simplify the process and at same time for each and every step a screenshot will be taken if you click on the screenshot you see highlights will be there 
okay each and every step what it has done click on my account login option okay then you are here then you, are, you have entered the in the login page you have entered the email address then you have entered the password and clicked on login button okay the next one uh to say some step is there here uh, i don't need this step so what i'll do I, if i don't need this step i can delete this okay and if i want to add some extra steps which are not recorded here by the tool i can click on the plus icon the step will be added here okay i can add manually or i can delete okay click on login click on my account click on uh, uh what is this okay verify logout option is there okay Cl click uh, here uh, some two steps are there this is not required this is an extra step that got recorded you can delete that if you want okay these are the finalized steps what you have to do here is if you are not satisfied with these steps copy this guys if you copy this copy this okay go to chat gpt okay now copy and go to chat gpt and open the new prompt here type the prompt guys okay type the prompt so i want to uh, i want you to create test cases okay i want you to create test case for the high level steps that i provide that i provide for the application what is the application that you are testing what is the application guys this is the application copy this application and paste it here okay i want to create for the high level steps okay that i provide for the application okay so in the next prompt in the next prompt i am going to i am going to provide the high level test steps okay use this high level test steps and create proper test case okay proper test case with proper details like this i'll write make sure the generated test case okay should be in a proper way for me to copy them into an excel file okay like this like this i'll write so then in the next prompt uh, i'm going to provide like that i said so it will wait for my next prompt okay just press uh, enter here it will understand absolutely please go ahead and share the high level test steps you like me convert and detail test cases once you do that i'll format the test case in a clean tabular format perfect for copying in an excel file like that it will say now go to the this one again copy these steps if you copy these steps all these steps will be copied guys copy this and go here and in the next prompt paste it you see these are the steps given by the test case studio tool now with the help of the steps given by the test case studio tool chat gpt is going to create proper test case for us okay when i press enter you see now you'll get the things you see how good you are getting test case id okay test case name test uh, test steps okay test data expected result everything is coming you see okay everything is coming all the steps one by one you know expect result is also coming test step description click on my account click on login from drop down enter email address into the email field enter password into the password field okay now you can copy all these steps guys okay now you can copy all these steps whatever the steps you want you can copy here and copy them into the test case okay okay so if you have if you want any changes here okay uh, this format is good but if you want any changes here, you know, all the test steps should come in a single line, for example, okay. For example, test step description should, all the test step descriptions or test steps should come in a single line, uh, single column, okay, single row. Uh, this is good, but I want all the test steps under test step description in a single row okay like that if i write like this it will do the stuff okay okay like this you know you know can easily copy paste right now you can easily copy paste test case id came uh, test case one came and your know, test case name came login and verify my uh if you want more things you can add it guys just data came okay 
expect result came fine like this so now you can copy this you can copy this and paste in your excel file okay so this is how simple guys okay if you have any changes here you know the steps you can copy you see all the steps have been written okay all the steps have been written just copy these steps and paste it in excel file okay you can take this high level steps paste them into the chat gpt and generate the test cases this is the process guys okay so with this guys uh, you don't have to manually type each and every step and this over a period of time what happens is if you are done with this format and all over a period of time the more the test cases you will generate the more the faster you will be able to create the test cases with, with the help of test case studio plus chat gpt kind of generative ai tools combination okay so if you need any other changes you can also write that okay you can also write that okay fine so and uh, at the same time guys you know you, you are getting screenshots xpath expression cs selectors and many other advantages you can also export them into the test case okay if you like the this way only if you like if you don't want to go in this way okay if you don't want the help of the chat gpt to write in a better way like this in a detailed manner like this the steps if you are okay if your project uh, in your project if it is okay uh, to have the steps uh, defined at a high level like this open website click on my account if the steps are okay like this okay whatever i posted here if you are okay with this format of the test steps then you can go with this only you don't have to use chat gpt or generative ai tools if you want a better way of writing these steps you can then use chat gpt okay that's what i can say fine and uh, what else guys what else uh, we have here uh, those are the major things guys okay this tool can be used to generate the high level test cases test steps for the test cases copy this test steps and paste them into the chat gpt and give proper prompts and from the next prompt onwards onwards next prompt onwards you don't have to give this first prompt guys okay next prompt onwards you just copy paste these steps okay you just copy paste the new new test case steps and the test case will be created in the required format going ahead okay chat gpt can understand and know will generate the test case in the same format for you so for example here in this uh, test step description all the steps are not in separate lines they are came in single line that's okay if you're okay with that that's okay now you want to create one more test case what you can do guys just close this okay just close this guys i want to create one more test case what i want to do here is i want to uh, log out here for example and uh, open the new tab here okay i'll keep the chat gpt like this only and now open the test case studio nothing is there here recording is by default on minimize this go go to this go to this and type tutorialsinja.com then okay once i go here let it open the application page guys okay but well, it's not loading now okay it's gone so fine the website is gone i think so okay it's not loading so open another application guys that is okay uh, open another application for example open uh, let me give a last try yeah it came that's okay great now i want to create another test case where i want to go to this application search for a product like hp and click on the search button and verify whether this particular product got displayed in the search results or not okay verify present verify present like this i'll say go here steps got recorded open website you see press caps lock and all these things are coming and you know these are not required i'll delete whatever that is not required for me enter hp into the is something that i need click on search button scroll uh scroll down is not required for my test cases verify just high level you just modify that's it uh stop the recording first of all and copy these steps okay you don't have to write any prompts anymore only one time you have written this prompt right next time whenever you paste the high level steps it has generated the test case for you okay press enter okay now press enter here see what happens it will generate the test case for you see you don't have to ask anything one more test case got created you just copy paste this in your excel file you see going what happens the more number of things you you record here you know record and uh, uh, auto generate here and you uh, you just post the high level steps here you see open the website enter hp when compared to these steps these are very detailed manner enter hp into search field click on search verify that the search results page displays relevant or products related to the hp okay like that search hp keyword is this data search results containing product related to hp are showing like that it's coming if you want to modify a bit you can modify here itself okay you can modify here itself okay so this is the thing guys this is the thing okay this is the thing so now you can copy this with better steps and paste into an excel file so this is the technique that i wanted to say guys okay this is the technique i wanted to uh, tell you that you know uh, with a combination of test case studio and generative ai tools like chat gpt uh, etc we can auto generate better test cases in very less amount of time and you will not get bored of writing test cases anymore okay 
So hope guys, uh, you like this idea. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.